is what they want to tell you about 5G. So when I say they, I'm talking about the industry, the, the telephone industry, the, the wireless industry. It's a, it's a big multi-billion dollar industry and they have people that are lobbying and they're putting out certain messages. So there's a huge campaign going on right now with lots of education, informational videos out there. And this is kind of like the standard definition that you'll see them saying that tells you what 5G is. They want you to think that it's faster, that it's better, and that it's more. It's, it's more whatever, you can get more data, more speed, more HD. Um, it's, uh, here's, here's a definition I found. 5G is the coming fifth generation wireless broadband technology based on the IEEE 802.11 AC standard. 5G will provide better speeds and coverage than the current 5 than the current 4G. 5G operates with a 5 gigahertz signal and is set to offer speeds of up to 1 gigabyte for tens of connections or tens of megabytes for tens of thousands of connections. And in order to kind of like just give you a rough idea, 1G, and G stands for generation right, and so it's like first generation, second generation, and so on. Mm -hmm. 1G is what brought cell phones online in the first place. That was the network they used for, for the first cell phones. Then 2G is what allowed us to do texting on cell phones. Yeah, okay. Then 3G, that's a picture of like a Blackberry looking kind of phone, that's what brought the cell phones onto the internet and mm -hmm. allowed us to do internet work on the cell phones. Mm -hmm. And then 4G, which is what we have now, is what um, allows us to have the speed that we do so you can watch like YouTube videos on your smartphone and mm -hmm. everything. That's what one, two, three, and four G are. Um, and but the thing is, is that they're just saying five G is just you know, it's just faster and that's mm -hmm. all it is, but it's a lot more complex than that. So, this is the way that they're going to be describing the technology to you. They have these different, you know, five G is different because of. Millimeter waves, small cell, massive MIMO, beam forming, and full duplex. So I'm going to explain what those are right now. Millimeter waves, uh, that just says that's most of our devices, they use frequencies under 6 gigahertz. 5G is between 30 and 300 gigahertz. Mm -hmm. So in other words, it's a very high frequency wave. It's very high. They claim that this quote unquote opens up real estate for more bandwidth, for more devices, and faster speeds. So you'll see that they're like, it's really crowded on the 4G network mm -hmm. right now. And there's, you know, if, if there's a concert with 20,000 people and everybody wants to stream from their cell phone at the same time in the stadium, they can't all get online at the same time because 4G is too crowded and there's not enough bandwidth. Mm -hmm. So if we had 5G, we could do something like that is what they're claiming, uh, saying that it opens up this whole other area okay. so that we can get more um, bandwidth right. and faster speeds. And instead of waiting a whole 10 seconds for an HD movie on your smartphone, you only have to wait one second now. Okay. So it's like, it's that, it, that's the kind of comparison. Um, the small cell uh, is for small cell networks. That's a form of technology that 5G is utilizing. So I'm, I'm sure you know you drive by, you see uh, large cell towers, and you know. But instead, with 5G, you're going to need thousands of smaller stations to relay the signal. So to give you an example of what this looks like in like a suburban neighborhood. Uh, where there's like a block with a whole bunch of houses, maybe you have like one cell phone tower for that whole neighborhood right around there that everybody uses. Right. Well, in this case, they would need three towers per block. Okay, so we're talking, they're gonna sandwich you in wow. with not just one tower, but thousands of smaller towers. And the, and the reason why is because of the way the frequency travels, mm -hmm. it needs more places to connect. Okay. It doesn't travel the same way right. as 4G does because it's a really high frequency. <clears throat> also, they're saying, these are, they're talking about something called massive MIMO. And MIMO, M-I-M-O, stands for multiple input, multiple output. 
And that's when they're talking about a um, one of their towers or their stations. So instead of just 12 ports on top of one tower or one uh, antenna or station, they're going to be fitting 100 ports per station. So oh. here's a visual. <laughs> So on the left here is what we've got now with 4G antennas, and I'm sure you've seen them. There's about 12 ports that they can fit on one of these antennas. And the 5G antennas are going to be fitting 100 ports per antenna. And they want to put at least three of these ports, or I'm sorry, three of these antennas per block. So you can see the scope and the scale yeah. of what they're trying to install. Okay, <clears throat> the other technology they'll talk to you about um, that makes 5G different than 4G is something they call beam forming or IEEE. So if you see IEEE, -E -E, mm -hmm. that's the beam forming technology. Okay. And they say that beam forming is instead of broadcasting information in every direction, um, like you know, right now you, you turn on your Wi-Fi and there's just information flowing through the through, through the air. Right. Right. So like that's that's broadcasting information in every direction. Um, the beam forming would allow a base station to send a focused beam to a single user. Wow. And they say it's it's more efficient, mm -hmm. right? That this these are the words that you'll hear them use. Um, you can tell we're not really supportive of it. Many people are not. So, yes, you know, you, you get some like really like perky spokesperson who's like, and it's more efficient and it's wonderful. And it's not, it's really, it's really not because, um, if you go and you look at the paperwork, there's all these like documentations, reports that have been done. And this is just a little snippet of what is found in the documentation. This technology, uh, beam forming or IEEE, reports from the documentation around this technology because they used it in World War II. Yeah. Explains, it says in the report that this technology cooked your eyes like eggs in World War II. So it's microwave beams and it's very, very dangerous to humans. And they, they've done testing in like wartime but they're basically planning on using the same kind of technology in 5G. Mm -hmm. And it's different than um, it's different than 4G. Now I have some other notes here. Let me just let's see. Did I okay, here we go. So with that, let's go into that's what they tell you about 5G is mm -hmm. that all that all the technology, it's so much better, it's faster, you'll You'll have to, you don't have to wait that extra nine seconds for something to come up on your cell phone. Like, and that's why it's so great, right? This is what they don't tell you about 5G. And this is what a lot of other uh, independent sources are providing documentation for. The frequencies used for 5G are much higher and not good for humans. The frequencies are greater than human skin barrier dimensions. And what that means is that your skin acts as an absorbing sponge for radiation because the frequency goes right into and through the skin because it's much higher than 4G. So that's a big difference right there, right? right? Uh, because of our sweat glands also, there's a, a science as to the way that works, the sweat glands on our bodies, it makes our bodies more conductive to this radiation. 5G will cause our pain receptors in our bodies to flare up. The U.S. Department of Defense already uses this type of frequency used in 5G for crowd dispersal, where they aim microwaves at crowds to make the people in the crowd's skin feel like it's burning. Uh, it causes DNA damage. It can harm plant life. So just think about all the plants yeah. and the crops and the trees and the forests. It's bad for plant life. Um, and it can pollute the atmosphere. Uh, because in order to put all these satellites up in the sky to make this network work, mm -hmm. they have to put like thousands and thousands of these satellites up there. And to do so, they use um, this black, uh, I'm sorry, I wrote ozone by mistake. That's a typo. 
black carbon. Okay, black carbon. They use, right. Black carbon is, is emitted from all these little rockets that yeah, the satellites fuel. up there. Yeah. In addition to chlorine. Okay. So chlorine is being um, shot up into the sky in order mm. to um, launch the rockets to put the satellites up there for this network. Um, and also, in general, it's harmful to animal life. So think about all the farm animals and just all animals in general and bees. It's very, very bad for bees. And if you know anything about bees, I forgot what the time frame was, but there's a very short period of time that we can go without bees yes. because the bees pollinate all of our food, right? So um, 5G is bad for all of that. Naima and Tavan from Fix the World Morocco. Everyone is gearing up for the new rollout of the new wireless technology called 5G, and it hasn't proven to be safe. Many people have been asking questions about what they can do to protect themselves from 5G. So we've been putting out a series of videos to try to help educate and inform the public on just how to do this. There are two main things that you can do to try to protect yourself from 5G that's already out in the areas and that's, that's being put out more and more in the next coming years. One is to uh, detoxify your body from the heavy metals and that's going to be discussed in another set of videos. But the second thing that you can do is you can change the electricity in the air around you and you can do that with Organite. Organite is a composite uh, that was developed from the technology of the late Dr. Wilhelm Reich and basically this compound is able to take uh, the stray harmful uh, electric fields in the environment and turn it into something that is healthy. So you might be wondering how organite works. So just like Tavon said, it is that composite and it actually emits ions and does a few other things to actually change the electromagnetic fields in the air around you. So to put it really simple, um, organite is something that you can just have around you in your home and on your body in order to protect you from the actual microwaves that are coming in from the 5 now, we're very sensitive uh, to uh, electrosmog, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, all, all these uh, different forms of electricity in the air, and that's why we started to make Organite. So we used to be sensitive to it, yeah. but right now it's really helped us a lot. And we started making Organite for ourselves and then for our friends and family, right. and we eventually turned it into a little small business that we have where we make Organite and ship it all around the world. Our blend of Organite is able to protect you uh, against uh, 5G uh, and other stray harmful fields. And we make several products with our Organite. Uh, we make pendants that you can wear on your body. Uh, we also make Organite charge plates that you can use to preserve food in your fridge and also to uh, passively structure water. We also make Organite pyramids and the Organite pyramids are good to grid your property with so that you can not only transform the fields coming from uh, Wi-Fi like 5G, but also from the harmful effects of chemtrails that come down on top of your home and your neighborhood. And then uh, we also offer Organite sleeping pods, which help you get a good night's sleep. We also have uh, garden garden gift packs uh, of garden pucks and, and our Organite pyramids for your gardens to help your plants grow uh, stronger and healthier. This is just a brief description of what we make and what we offer, but if you go to our website with the link below this video, we have a different video for each one of these products that describes it completely and what they do. And we also have lots of videos that discuss the science behind Organite, how it works, and why it works. And we encourage you to try it because we have some special free offers for uh, free pendants so you can try Organite for yourself. We just ask that you pay shipping and handling. And now we're celebrating our first first full year of making Organite. We make every piece by hand and we ship it all over the world. And we've gotten lots of emails sent to us with pictures from some of our customers giving us their testimonies of how much they love our products. We check our inbox every day and do our best to write personal responses to every one of our customers. If you have any questions at all about our products, please feel free to drop us an email at the email address in the link below. Thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe. And we hope that you'll join the others who are using Organite to help protect themselves from the dangers of 5G. Take care. Take care.